What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D. Too Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another episode today of Got a Murder. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. All right, y'all. So we off in Soul Play right now. You know the man, the hour is good, man. How you doing? What's going on, brother? Anthony. Well, I Mr. Come on, man. A Mr. A B. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, man. man. When you're good friends with people, you call them by their real name. You know what I'm saying? Mr. A B. But also just you know, T J in the building, TJ Duckett. And you I'm know? not mad. I'm not mad. We just gotta keep reiterating that. I feel you. Followers be, be on my ass. Not yeah, well, I, with your subscribers. It's all so. constructive criticism at the end of the day. So just yes. take it that way. You know, I I deal with it for years, like all the time, but it is what it is. But we got some big videos coming up that I'm talking to him about. Uh, about denim. I want to bring a lot of denim to this channel or to my other channel as well. Too far too off for TV. I'm actually gonna drop a denim video video over there but this new got him early series that we're gonna be rushing and popping out is gonna be mainly about just showing everybody what's coming out each and every week and I mean everything that you guys got in the store clothing all the above and today's somewhat of a pilot because tomorrow we do have a big uh, shoe drop and you guys actually did a online raffle uh, yes Instagram yes. Instagram Instagram, or Instagram. Instagram, Instagram raffle yeah. and uh, we're gonna be taking in any type of comments of things you would like to see from Soul Play on this series and in their future raffles because a lot of people would love to jump in on those that are probably not in Atlanta as well. I want, I want to give you guys the Soul Play experience that aren't able to come to Atlanta to get it as well. So feel free to comment those things down below what you like, what you know, what you would like to see or even follow them on Instagram at Soul Play ATL and, you know, give them some ideas and thoughts as well. Um, but besides that, what's really on the plate for this month of October? What you guys looking for? Um, we got a lot. We got a lot of stuff um, creating and surrounding Halloween. Okay. It's super so dope. Yeah, so will you guys be doing any decorations at all? Yes, yes. We okay. got some big plans. We got some. We got some big releases with Nike coming in. Big releases with Jordan. We definitely gonna create some activations around those, and it's gonna be it's gonna be super dope. So bet, really bet, for sure. So I wanted to come through. We're actually gonna pull back up here on Monday for the, the official. Like I want to say official because this is official. But for the next, got them early, and then moving forward, each and every Monday, some Sundays, Sundays and Mondays will be got them early's of everything releasing of the week. So stay tuned for that. And, uh, and um, I also, also want to put a. Uh, request in to your subscribers right okay so if y'all know anybody with purple denim the brand the denim brand please dm us the contact and let us know um and we might have something like super dope for you purple I mean, denim is the name purple denim yeah, okay yeah, yeah. purple denim if you're watching this yeah i'm telling them you listen, too. we got a lot of releases i know y'all want them early not early sorry don't, don't oh. send that well the, early. the view early the view early the view early but then i can guarantee you a sneaker in the future Man, okay please hit, hit and me with that contact that'll be we great. got some real big things that we're talking in the near future too with the the digital market. Oh, yeah. We'll yeah. talk about that later, but just stay tuned. Trust me, That's you're going to enjoy it. That's so let's get it. Go, go, go shade. That's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bag. All right, y'all. Got them early. You already know what time it is, man. Listen, man. They came to feast. Hoodies are dropping tomorrow on sampleind.com. Go and follow us over on Twitter and Instagram at SMPLIND for IG and for Twitter. I will leave links down below in the description where you guys can check that out as well. And, you know, stay tuned, man. My favorite time of the year is in full effect. And that is really just Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That part, that October, November, December is just my favorite times of the year. And I'm just excited, man. And to bring that even more excitement, we have... This special release from Jordan Brand. Salutes to Soul Play for letting your boy get these early in hand to show you, even though they dropped tomorrow, but I needed them and I've been wanting them, and that is the Jordan 5 Shattered Backboard. So we got the Jordan 5 Shattered Backboard. These are set to release tomorrow. Now, I don't, that's the, ton, the term I was hearing about them. We also heard of the Jordan 1 Low Shattered Backboard, which was also the Starfish, where people got mad for people calling them Shattered Backboards. But these are called Sail slash Orange Blaze. That's the color. So Jordan 5 Sail and Orange Blaze. And I'm going to be honest, I'm digging these. I like these a lot. I like these a lot. They're definitely a little bit more weird, as you can see, like this, the material that's used, that ripstop material that's used on the ankle, as well as on the netting. I wish they would have kept this, the original netting, as all Jordan 5s, and then still kept this here 
here. Like I'm cool with some of it, but I'm not a big fan of replacing the actual net here with those materials. As far as the smell, it has the typical Jordan 5 smell. And what I mean is it's just a certain smell that some Jordans come with that others don't. And it's almost like a, I don't know if it's the, the outsole. It's it's a it's a glue type of smell as well. Kind of similar to that of the 6, but not too much. It just has a certain type of smell that I have smelled before. It's very distinctive. As far as the leather quality, very, very good leather quality. I'm definitely digging the leather that was used on here. It has the same, you know, toe box that's used on previous Jordan 5s. More of the recent 2021 versions. And that is that lower cut, not the one that wraps up. But the leather quality is very good. It's very similar to that Fire Red 5. However, it's a little bit more tumbled. You see a little bit more, you know, definition in the leather. It's not just as super smooth as that Fire Red was. It's a little bit more tumbled, a little bit more of those grain look to it. And just slightly different. You also have here, it comes with that cardboard behind here to protect that lace lock, I guess, from scuffing on the 3M that's on behind the tongue. Take this out. And this is definitely a shoe that I'll be keeping in the collection. As you can see, though, check out that real nice 3M tongue right there. Orange Jumpman, orange blaze as they call it. The paint job, I like it a lot. I love the orange and the black. The metallic on the shark is different, but it's not bad. I honestly think I like this more than if they would have just went with a black, you know, orange speckle or orange with the black speckle, keeping it more of that uniform look. I like the pop that this gives it in this. It's just a little bit different. And it goes, you know, back to the tongue, which it just kind of all correlates with one another. You feel me? The back, regular Jumpman. You have here Jordan. I did peep though, however, on the actual lace lock, it says Nike. So it's Nike on that lace lock. It's not Jordan on the lace lock. And what I mean is the actual right here. It says Nike right here, not the actual Jumpman logo there, but a little bit something different. Size eight and a half. Um, as far as I know from Soul Plays, at least from them, this is somewhat of a limited release on them, on their behalf, their store. I don't know if it's gonna be limited elsewhere because some shoes come more at different stores than the other, but it's something to think about, you know, if you're trying to go after them. Definitely something big that we want to talk about is that material though also that's used on the back of the anklet. As you can see, it's almost somewhat translucent where you can see the pod and cushion on the ankle there as well as the ankle on the back side. It's kind of yellow, like the foam, you could literally see it, like yellow foam. And it has somewhat like of a ripstop material, which ripstop is, looks like this. I would think this is ripstop pretty much. It's the squares you usually see and it's basically very hard to rip this type of material for a reason, hence the name. Lace locks, black with the orange. I'm really digging these. I like these a lot. Definitely something different to the Athlete Arsenal and it's definitely a shoe that I will keep in the collection quite some time. I'm going to rock these. Like you guys know, I pick and choose my battle when it comes to sneakers and I'm not really a fan of always getting newer colorways. This is something definitely though that I will add in and I'll be rocking a lot. Specifically even now, I mean, you can rock it with this. I could rock it with this. I might need to actually take a picture in these. I was actually wearing these today. I was wearing this today, you know, with this. It looks nice, but I mean, it just, it just fits the season, right? But the leather, man, quality's A1. Alligator nut sack material all on the uppers. Quasimodo neck bone on the back heel, as well as the net. Spaghetti sauces, meat patty melts all throughout the whole entire shoe translucent and it has a hint of orange so it's a it's it is orange like it's a it's like you know how they have the blue tinted soles this is an orange tinted sole that's the best way to put it i don't think it's like anything underneath and it's clear i think this is actually orange tinted we'll see how that will do in due time it might yellow faster it might yellow slower it might turn directly orange because i've seen some with that piss yellow it might go piss orange i don't think there's a such thing but some piss that this looks very dehydrated. 
But besides the point, man, these are crazy, man. Jack o' lantern nut sack, Sleepy Hollow's neck, you know, a little bit of everything that gives you that hocus pocus filiocus going on with this whole entire shoe. Definitely something that I recommend picking up. I wanted to pick this up and I've kind of liked them since I saw them. At first, I was kind of iffy about this and I still am not a huge fan of this, but um, I'm looking at it right now on the screen and I, I, I can I can get over it. I can get over it. So, to each his own. These will be, though, as stated, dropping tomorrow. Um, I know Soul Play, by the time you see this, they did a raffle and that will be closed. But moving forward on this Got Em Early series, we'll be dropping these videos each and every Monday. Some days we might do it on Sundays, but majority of the time it'll be on Monday. Each and every Monday we will deliver a Got Em Early, which will basically show you the lineup of what's going on that week if I have it in the possession. If the shoe comes a little bit later or if it's delayed, then I might end up pushing it to like a Tuesday or Wednesday. But my plan is pretty much each and every Monday is to show you the shoe that's releasing or shoes that are releasing of the week. So next Monday, kind of can figure out what we're going with with that one. So just stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled. Definitely a banger. Definitely a shoe that I like. Material A1, looks A1, and all the above. So it is what it is. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. You know, are you keeping these? Are you passing on them? I love to hear it for me. It's definitely a keep. So it is what it is. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one, man. It's another edition of Got Em Early. And it's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.